Are you an idealist? Are you thoughtful and considerate, but reserved in expressing your own emotions? Do you enjoy spending time alone or in quiet places or maybe out in nature because you feel like that may be the only time that you can truly clear your head and think? You're probably sensitive to others' feelings and believe that everyone's got to find and explore their own path. If that sounds like you, you just may be an INFP as defined by the Myers-Briggs system. And if that is you, or you know someone like that, then stay tuned because in just a second, I'm gonna share a little bit about this personality type to help you communicate and build a relationship a bit more effectively. Hi, I'm Brandon, co-founder of Life Secret Sauce, where we help motivated professionals exude their passions and become a social rock star by leveraging the social skills we should have learned in school, like storytelling and public speaking, rather than learning that the glue on Israeli postage stamps is certified kosher. So for all of you that were worried, go ahead and start licking. You are good to go. Anyway, today we're going to break down a bit about the INFP personality type under five sections. Overview, identifying INFPs, strengths and weaknesses, communication, and career paths. Section 1, INFP Overview. The INFP personality type, often referred to as the mediator or healer, enjoys spending time with exploring their own ideas and generally encouraging others to do the same. This creative type values authenticity and individuality and they are often in search for the meaning and truth within themselves. INFPs are unconventional and they have no desire to conform to societal norms. They would much rather stay true to themselves than to try to fit in. And they're excellent at seeing things from multiple perspectives, making them highly supportive and accommodating to others. This personality type makes up about 4% of the general population and are much more successful than most at learning a foreign language. Section number two, identifying INFPs. This type is reserved, often spending long periods of time lost in thought and searching for their life's meaning. And they're often accepting of others without question and they have a special affection for the arts. They are idealists, often speaking in metaphors, parables. This type makes for excellent storytellers because they're fascinated by the fantasy and make-believe. Rather than using their communication talents and ability to connect with anyone, INFPs focus their attention on a very select number of people or a single cause. Section 3. Strengths and Weaknesses INFPs have a live and let live attitude and they genuinely dislike being contained by the rules. This allows them to stay open-minded, passionate, and dedicate themselves to causes that they believe in. They're one of the most creative types and they make excellent poets and authors. Their dedication to completing tasks allows them to push through when the going gets tough and they can accomplish big goals if it's something that they truly feel passionate about. However, INFPs oftentimes take criticism personally and rather than growing from criticism will often revert to hermit mode and focus their attention elsewhere. Now their focus on one big picture or one idea may lead them to impractical dreams and neglect the day-to-day -day maintenance to, and they often forget to enjoy the moment. They're very private, reserved, and self-conscious which makes this type very difficult to, difficult to get to know well. Section 4. How to communicate with INFPs. INFPs are gentle communicators. They're phenomenal listeners and their problem-solving nature makes them great at coming up with solutions for other people's problems. Their compassionate nature also allows others to open up to them, but they're not so readily available to share their own values and ideals with people that they don't know or trust well. INFPs have a duality to their connections with others. They crave human interaction, but at the same time, they are shy in social settings. They're excellent at reading others' feelings, but they don't provide that same insight for themselves. One of our favorite quotes about INFPs is that they like the idea of human contact, but not so much the reality of social contact. Section 5, Career Paths. This type experiences challenges finding a satisfying career because they want to do what they love without the rigor of a professional life. They dream of being poets, authors, bloggers, and their gift of language makes them exceptional writers. And although they can be successful in almost any career, you'll find that an INFP is rarely in a high pressure sales or financial manager position and are much more likely to find them in the arts, fashion, graphic design, or mental health worlds. 
Overall, this kind-hearted and altruistic type works tirelessly to brighten the lives of those around them and to get their inner and to get in their inner circle, you've got to be patient, compassionate, and caring right back at them. Finally, a few famous INFPs that you might know. Princess Diana, John Lennon, Audrey Hepburn, William Shakespeare, Kurt Cobain, Marshall from How I Met Your Mother, and Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. So what'd you think? Are you an INFP? Do you know someone that fits that description perfectly? By using some of the tips and tricks from this video, you just may be able to communicate a bit more effectively with them. And if you want to communicate a bit more effectively with everyone in your life, then check out our brand new Millennial Magnetism course. Description and details are in the link below where you can get all that to unleash your inner awesome in only about 10 minutes a day, become your social rock star. And last but not least, if you like what we're about, click subscribe right down there in the corner so you never miss a video. We've got new ones every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Finally, last but not least, check us out on the web at lifesecretsauce.com where you can sign up for our newsletter, see what's happening, see what new blog posts we've got going, and we can deliver the awesome straight to your inbox. Until next time, Ciao for now.